To write the Lewis structure for C2N2, let's first count up the valence electrons. Carbon that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, we have four valence electrons, we have two carbon atoms. And then nitrogen that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, we have five valence electrons and we have two nitrogen atoms. So we have eight plus 10, total of 18 valence electrons for the C2N2 Lewis structure. This is also called cyanogen. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center. Here we have two carbons. We're just going to put both of those in the center of our Lewis structure, and then we'll put a nitrogen on either end. We have a total of 18 valence electrons. So first we'll place a pair of electrons between the atoms. This is going to form the chemical bond. Next we'll complete the octets on the atoms on the outside, the nitrogens. We've used six so we've used all 18 valence electrons. We can see that the nitrogen atoms, each nitrogen atom, they have octets. That's good. But these carbon atoms, they only have four valence electrons. So we're going to have to do something to get octets on the carbon atoms. What we can do is move electrons to the center, form a double bond here. So when we form a double bond, we still have eight valence electrons around the nitrogen. Now the carbon has six, so we're getting closer. Let's do that over here too. We're almost there. Let's form a triple bond, see what that does. So now we still have eight on the nitrogen, but this carbon, it has eight, it has an octet. So let's do it over here. And I like to move these up here to the side. And this is the Lewis structure for C2N2. All the atoms have octets. We've used the 18 valence electrons, that's it. You also see it written like this here where each line that represents a pair of electrons. Let's put the lone pairs on the end of the nitrogen. That looks better. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for C2N2, cyanogen. Thanks for watching.